Hi guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to simulate a very basic circuit with the help of Raspberry Pi. So first, you must know that in the whole simulation we have three major components. The first one is our microcomputer that is the Raspberry Pi. The second one is the PIR sensor or motion detection sensor and the third one is our LED. So for, for in order to power the whole circuit we have a simple battery here. So you can see it's a plus 5 volt and ground. Apart from all this hardware functionalities we have one coding window. You can see it under the label that is coding window for Python. So now how the circuit used to work we have like uh, we have simulated like uh, the three GPIO pins with the PIR sensor. You can see that there are three pins within the PIR the first one is out the middle one is VCC or 5 volt and the last one is the ground. Now there are three options. We can connect our output signal of PIR sensor either with the GPIO 14, 15 or 18 of the Raspberry Pi. By default the LED is connected with the GPIO 12 and ground. So you cannot change it out. Maybe in next version I will give you an option for that. Okay, now you can see this thing as well. So this is our motion signal. That is motion signal which is going to the PIR sensor. Okay, now we will connect it out first. We need to connect our output signal pin of the PIR sensor with the Raspberry Pi. So we will connect them out like this. Okay, now it is connected with this. We can also connect it with any other pin, okay? Now 5 volt must be connected with this 5 volt and ground must be connected with this ground. Okay, now okay, now it is 14 because GPIO here is defined as 14. If you if you are going to change it, it is not going to work for you. Okay, now okay, now we will check our hardware and it is okay. Now we will run it out, yes, now, now this is the main button for to run the whole simulation and we can see that there isn't any sort of output on the LED. Now we will click this, now the signal is going to the PIR sensor, now we will run it out and now you can see that our LED is on. And when we will make it off, okay now you can see LED is off. Now if we want to change the output like this. To the GPIO 15 so what needs to be okay now now what what will happen next now okay now we will check it out okay now we will press the run button and you can see it is not going to work because of the fact that our signal out is connected with the GPIO 15 while encoding it is 14 it is mentioned 14 so we will change it to 15 15 and 15 Okay, now we will check our hardware and we will run and now you can see it is working properly and same is for 18 can, can we change it to 18 yes we can okay and here 18 now we will check our hardware hardware is okay okay we will make it like this okay now this and now it's not working but but with this okay this must be 18 and hardware check and all this okay okay let's let change it to again again it to okay now now it is working with pin number 18 as well so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to integrate the PIR sensor with it with the Raspberry Pi so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe